John Hudson, pastor of Pilgrim United Church of Christ in Sherburn, Massachusetts, and I welcome you to another of my weekly video essays with thoughts about how all of us can lean into and get through these strange and amazing days. Even though it's at or below freezing outside my window this morning, and even though I put away my bike more than a month ago, and even though I probably won't get back to riding until March, still, this day I'm thinking about especially long distance cycling, my avocation now for more than 20 years. You know, I love marathon sports for lots of reasons. It's great to have a huge challenge in front of me to motivate me to train and it's neat to go a long way all under pedal power. All those things that often happens to me when I am trying to cycle a very long way. Almost always in the midst of that ride, a second wind. That's a proven phenomena in sports, this renewal, this physical kick. Just when you think you can't go on any further, just when and your lungs begin to falter, just when you want to get off the darn bike, you suddenly, serendipitously, graciously, get a second wind. Your legs kick back into high gear, your breathing slows, and you feel renewed, and maybe even go faster. A second wind. It's not just for the body, it's also true for the human spirit that we can get a second wind, too. Times in life when we think we just cannot go on, and suddenly we find within us reserves of strength and courage we never thought possible. And so we do carry on. We keep going through tough times, even though we've still got a long way to go. Philosopher Henry J. Most people never run far enough on their first wind to find out that in fact, they've got a second wind. Now some 10 months into our coronavirus marathon, we've come a long, long way, and we also still have a long way to go. The vaccine is in the far distance, and yet there is lots of peddling to do before we get there. So my prayer for all of us this day is simple. May we each find our second wind, our second wind in this life. May we trust that inside each of us, our reservoirs, our fortitude and bravery, we have not yet even tapped. May we reach down into our souls and carry on mile by mile and day by day, knowing and trusting that we will get to our final destination. The prophet Isaiah in the Bible, this hope beautifully, but those who wait for the Lord, they shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. A second wind. You can find it. I can find it. It is ours for the taking. So friends, be patient and then just keep going. Run the race, run the marathon and trust. Get to the finish line, no doubt. A second wind is within each of us. Thanks for joining me. Our church offers worship every Sunday morning on this Facebook page at 9.50 a.m. And we invite you to join us. Take care. And I pray that you and your loved ones and all of us, that we can keep the faith. Be bless all of us. And God bless our world.